Welcome to our weekly maritime video blog. I'm Corey Ransom with International Maritime Security Associates. This week, we're talking about veterans and the maritime industry. We've talked in the past on this video blog about the Coast Guard and about different things that the Coast Guard does. We thought we would take this opportunity on today's video blog to talk about veterans transitioning from the military into the private sector, specifically the maritime industry. There's a lot of great job potential for people who are getting out of the military, whether separating from normal service or retiring out of service, to have a secondary, or in some cases, a primary career in the maritime industry. So we thought we'd break it up into two kind of separate camps. The first camp, we're gonna talk just a little bit specifically to veterans who are separating from service about some of the opportunities and how you could get involved in different aspects of the maritime industry. We're also on the second kind of piece of this going to talk to employers about the benefits of hiring veterans and how you go about doing that. There's a lot of benefits to both sides when you look at veterans of the military coming out of military service with their skill sets of working in the maritime industry. So with that, we thought it'd be a great opportunity to really address both issues. So on the first side of it, if you're a veteran and you're going to be separating from military service and you're looking for part-time or full-time employment, let me just pitch to you the maritime industry. The maritime industry has a lot of potential opportunities for different jobs working on board vessels, on the shore side. There's a lot of really interesting things that you can do within the maritime industry. And when we speak in the maritime industry, we really speak in general terms of, of working in the cargo side of it, working in the cruise side of it, and also working in the large yacht side of it. As a military veteran, and, and specifically veterans coming out of a maritime service like the Navy or the Coast Guard, you already possess a skill set that will help you move ahead of a number of people without experience into uh, a different aspects of the maritime industry. So if you're a military service member looking to get into the maritime industry out of military service, there's a couple of organizations specifically here in the United States that we wanted to put forward first. The Merid, Merid or the Maritime Administration has a website that's dedicated to providing information to separating military service members with the potential of opportunities to work in the maritime industry. There's also another really interesting organization called Military to Maritime, and we'll have links in the comment section below to both the Merad website and the Military to Maritime website for veterans. And there's a lot of really good information to get you started in the right direction on how to get a career in the maritime industry. And like I said at the beginning, there is a lot of really interesting potential, whether you wanna work on the shore side of operations, you wanna work in port operations, or you wanna to go to sea and work on board a vessel. I absolutely love being on the ocean every chance that I get. Um, I love to be out there and love the work um, in the maritime industry. So I really uh, personally favor more of the maritime, but there's a lot of really interesting and some very well-paying jobs that you can get across the board. If you're looking to go to sea, as a separating military member, one of the first things you need to do is look at the potential or the training that you would need to be able to do that. So one of the very first classes that you will need to take if you don't already have this is called the STCW. This is just a week long class and it gives you the basics of different shipboard operations. Now if you're Coming off of a ship in the Navy or in the Coast Guard, this is gonna be an extremely easy class because it talks about um, different aspects of uh, firefighting, of flooding, uh, of watch uh, on board the ship and different things that you've already done. So this will be a very easy class, but it's a requirement as kind of the first step to be able to, to get on board. If you have experience in the navigation and the ship driving, I would definitely recommend to get that experience together and go to a school 
school and actually get your captain's license. There's also engineering license that you can get if you've been on the engineering side of it. So there's a number of licenses that you can get depending on what you did in the military that can move you ahead again of a number of people uh, and give you an opportunity so, for some very well paying jobs in the maritime industry. And again, whether it's the cargo side, cruise side or large yachts. There's some really great opportunities across the board in all three of those. I wanted to highlight just a couple of uh, schools and organizations from a veteran and military standpoint um, that would be helpful to you. Uh, the Star Center, it's located in Dania Beach, which is just south of Fort Lauderdale, is a great training school when you're looking at kind of the cargo industry um, or the cruise line industry. And they also have some classes kind of tailored to yard, large yachts as well. You can get your STCW there, but they also offer a slew of other classes uh, that you can take and they have a full bridge simulator that's actually pretty cool. I've had the chance to go and to see it. Another training school and they specifically concentrate more on large yachts. However, if you do want to work on cargo lines, they do have some uh, classes there. It's Blue Water Training. We've talked about Blue Water Training before on here. They've got a great school in a great location in Fort Lauderdale and actually not far from the Star Center where they have a great facility where they can do all sorts of different types of training and they have a really large pool so they can do a lot of in-water training there as well and you can get your STCW. There was a couple other schools we wanted to mention that were outside um, of the Fort Lauderdale area. There's the Paul Hall Center, a great training school that's been around since the late 1800s. They have a slew of different classes um, and just another one of those solid organizations. Another organization we wanted to mention was the uh, Maritime Institute of Technology and Graduate Studies slash the Pacific Maritime Institute. This organization uh, school has been around for a long time. They have a number of great classes. Um, so these uh, Paul Hall and, and the Mittag School, they're not located in Florida. Um, so if you wanted to do training outside of Florida, there's also a number of other really good training schools and training academies that you can look at. These were just some we wanted to highlight. And again, we'll have links to all of those listed below. So there's a lot of opportunity, especially depending on your skill set coming out of the military to be able to move you into a really great paying job and a solid career in the maritime industry. A lot of companies in the maritime industry specifically look to hire veterans just because of the skill set that you as a veteran bring forward. So it's definitely something to consider. Uh, there's a lot of great opportunities here in the United States, but also with companies around the world. If you want to travel around the world, there's a lot of opportunities to be able to do that. Now we want to address kind of the company side of it um, because it's important I think that for companies out there who don't know um, about skill sets of veterans or kind of how to connect with veterans we thought it would be great to be able to mention that as well so if you're a company one of the things that I always recommend to companies depending on what the company does is that you look to veterans to be able to hire uh, to fill those positions that you have within your company. The men and women that are coming out of the military here in the United States, but some of the other military organizations around the world have phenomenal skills that can really be an asset to your company. For instance, there was a number of people that I worked with in the Coast Guard. I was in bridge operations and ship driving, but we worked with a lot of great engineers who could repair the engine systems, the generator systems, the water systems on board, who had a very phenomenal level of knowledge on shipboard systems. If you have a vessel or a repair facility, they can step into almost on day one actively being able to work on vessels with very little training. So it's an asset that it can save your company money also by hiring veterans. There are some veteran incentive and hiring programs here in the United States um, that you can look at for a company to be able to hire men and women who are separating from the military service. Military folks are, are well trained for the most part, extremely reliable. You typically don't have problems with military people um, like you may and people who have not been in the industry before. So I'm a big advocate on looking to hire military veterans who are separating from the service because they can be a big asset to your company. So hopefully from the veteran side and how to get into the industry and just a plug for the industry to look at veterans, this was helpful for you when we're looking at trying to transition military members out of the military 
into the workforce. Hey, thanks for joining us this week on our weekly video blog. We really appreciate all the viewers and subscribers that we get each week. If there's any questions you have about this video or any other videos, don't hesitate to post your questions or comments on YouTube or through our social media and connect to us there to join the conversation. All that information is detailed in the banner above and also in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get notified when we put out new videos across all of our uh, network here. Also, make sure you hit that like button for all the videos you like. If there's anything from a company perspective we can do for you when it comes to maritime security, regulatory compliance, or maritime risk management, don't hesitate to reach out to us because we're always happy to steer you in the right direction.